I, all I can say is that it's uh, it's a very valuable philosophy. It's the sort of it's kind of the structure that I've needed to draw my own path. I remember Michael Looney had this fantastic cartoon of him walking along a path that was the thread coming out of his mind. Right. So it was like from his own imagination, he said the path that one lives is the one that one creates for oneself, you know. Right. And I just love that with Scientology, I've got this fantastic order. It's something that one needs to read and understand themselves. It's not something you just inherit by um, an authority someone telling you that you must do this and then this will happen. Yeah. Um, it seems to me to be the most practical examination of maybe the heart of Eastern philosophy. Right. Things that have to do with um, conduct and how one sees themselves and how one has respect for themselves and others. Right. It's a very Buddhist kind of thing. Mm. And then the practical way of then how do you apply that to life, I don't think we have those sorts of tools available, so they're certainly not taught at school. No. You can do it through, like, you know, in schools you can be told that's right or that's wrong, but that becomes a moral conduct. Yeah. It's not the person's own personal choice. Yeah, right. And then you find women, you know, like ourselves, get to our age and stuff, and they discover it through meditation or they might go and discover it yoga or they get this say then you often hear them saying I've got, I feel like I've got my own life back well imagine if we would had all of that available at any given age on any part of our journey yeah right and know that you could fully just love and trust yourself yeah that would be a good place do you think that your religion and your beliefs have played a huge role in who you are today oh yeah it couldn't help but yeah yeah they have do, is, are you bringing up gypsy you're pretty much bringing her up the way you were brought up with this sharing yeah. everyone living in the same house. Yes, but it's imperative to understand that you'd never, just by birth alone, become a Scientologist. No. It requires your own journey. You'd, you'd have to want to seek to learn just in the same way that you might, um, you know, I think that everyone who's interested in any subject needs to find for themselves what they believe or don't believe about it. Yeah. It can't be something you need to be told by another. No. Not on that kind of a spiritual journey. That's no, a very right. personal thing. So, no, what I can do is apply Scientology to the life around her, make it as safe as possible, mm -hmm. make um, the conduct around her as kind of orderly and, and, as, and as loving and tolerant mm. and show her by example that she can respect and love herself and have a lot to admire about herself and others and you know, find a way in life that's her own. Yeah, yeah. Mm.